all of Virgo Sun Cancer Moons. Welcome to your 2024 Sun Moon reading. If it resonates, consider a personal pre-recorded or live reading. Just click on the link tree below or text me at 646-902-5715. When you view this is when you're meant to see it. It doesn't matter the time of year. Also check out your 2023 Sun Moon readings and see if they rang true for you or somebody else. The first portion of this reading, I will go over the traits of your Sun Moon combination, pull the main cards and take a quick look at your 2024. The second portion will be the Vimeo link below where I will have a deeper interpretation of those cards with clarifiers in addition to a card of advice for 2024. So Virgo Sun, Cancer Moons, somewhat introverted, you have a tendency to only share your heart to those closest to you. You tend to keep a comfortable distance between yourself and people you do not know very well. After you get to know them, you can be quite dynamic and it can also to be quite rewarding for the other party. In your relationships, there are times when your loved one can be considered spoiled. Loved ones can be considered spoiled. You will nurture and care for them, making sure they are incredibly comfortable. You also take care of any practical detail details they might miss and fuss over them endlessly. Unfortunately, you can have a very nervous energy and be very emotional. This is one combination that if you let things snowball, issues could manifest into severe depression or anxiety. Be vigilant in regards to your mental health and take time to meditate and address issues as they arise. Once you calm your mind, there's nothing you can't achieve. So Holy Spirit Angels, Divine God's Universe, can you please write your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for a Virgo Sun, Cancer Moons for the year of 2024. What do you see? What do they need to know? What do you see for January, February, March for Virgo Sun, Cancer Moons? January, February, March, we have the Knight of Swords in the upright. What do you see for April, May, June for Virgo Sun, Cancer Moons? We have the world card in the upright. Look me up on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, donate, refer a friend in support of my efforts. Always greatly appreciated. For um, well, July, August, September, we have the two of swords in the reverse. And what do you see for October, November, December? We have the hermit card in the reverse. Okay. So. I feel as though in January, February, March, there's something coming in that you're going to hear about. You probably weren't expecting it. It's probably going to come right for you. Um, when you hear it, you're going to be like, oh, okay. It's either, it's going to take you back a little bit, take you back a little bit. Um, you may, it, it might be a lot of stress, a lot of drama, a lot of arguing things happen because of it. So, um, you know, it's, but whatever it is, it's a hundred percent the truth. Okay. And another thing about it is once it's out in the open, things are going to move forward very quickly. So I don't know if this is career or love or what have you, but just know that that's going to, that scenario is going to happen in January, February, March. In April, May, June, it looks like whatever happened um, back here actually brings something to a close. Um, you know, it's the end of a very long cycle, or it might have been like a journey you've been in for quite some time. And this closure has finality associated with it. Since the world card in the upright is actually, or just the world card is actually the last step in life's journey. So what you need to do is you need to kind of accept and say, oh, okay, it's over with. This was a huge lesson in life. I feel complete and get ready for what's coming next. So that previous cycle is getting you ready for all the challenges and everything that's going to um, happen next. And you might actually be, um, the next cycle might be you traveling the world or opening yourself up to worldly knowledge and finding out worldly things, you know? So whatever it is, you're complete and now you're ready for the next endeavor that kind of awaits you. Now, in July, August, September, I see you having to make a decision. You're not really excited about making this decision. It might pertain, pertain to where you're going um, after this cycle has kind of ended. So mid-year, um, you're going to be presented with an ultimatum and you're going to need to decide what you're going to do. And you're probably going to try to put it off because of course, you know, we don't want to have to do anything that's unpleasant or we don't want to have to make a decision that we don't want to make. So the best advice that I give people when this kind of comes up is make you know a list of pros and cons and whatever has the more pros whatever tips the scale that way just go with that and be done with it just get it over with because there's not going to be a pleasant option so you just have to pick the lesser of two evils um and like I said, I think it's going to be have to be done by a certain point in time. You really have your, your back in the corner and you're really kind of stuck in the middle. So just jump in there and get that decision over with. Um, at, in April, not April, um, October, November, December, Hermit card in reverse is your card. It's the card of Virgo. Now, 
for some reason during this period of time, and it might be because of this decision that you made, you're, you're gone, you're out. I feel like you're isolating yourself, withdrawing, you don't wanna have anything to do with anybody, you're cutting yourself off from people. And be careful because this is a card of where you could be really beating up on yourself. So you might be beating up on yourself for what you decided or what you have to decide and kind of licking your wounds and pouting and sulking. It's just a lot of negativity by yourself in isolation. So um, you want to stay connected to friends. You want to make sure that you socialize, you you know, something that's going to kind of uplift you. So this doesn't turn into um, a problematic situation, especially since you're prone uh, to neurosis, psychological disturbances and things like that in isolation. It's just going to add to that. So that's what I have for you all. If it resonates, consider a personal pre record or live reading. Just click on the link tree below or text me at 646 902 5715. But make sure you click on the Vimeo link below where I will have a deeper interpretation interpretation of these cards with um wait those cards with these cards in addition to a card of advice for 2024 make sure you check out your 2023 sun moon readings see if they rang true for you and then finally look me up on facebook instagram tiktok like share subscribe donate refer a friend in support of my efforts always greatly appreciated otherwise virgo sun cancer moons i will see you in the vimeo adios from veronica garnett bye